I really like being friends with you. Are we being friend zoned? What's up guys, it's your boy Kurnati. We are back with Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, the last episode, it was pretty emotional with Natsuki, man. You know, one of her manga, I think volume two, the one I got bent, or one, got bent, she started crying and it had to, it just got really sad, man. And I made Yuri upset again, because she felt that the poem that she read was related to her disrespecting Natsuki, and she felt that she was also disrespecting me before, but this time, we're doing Yuri's, so the poem that she's gonna read is gonna match exactly what she like, exactly what she likes, so I don't think we'll have a problem with Yuri, we're gonna get on the good side this time, so let's see how that works out. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep bringing up that Monica broke the fourth wall, I'm gonna keep bringing it up, because I feel like that's related to something, I really do, I don't know, but I really do, I feel like it's related to something, but let's continue with Yuri. Another day passes. It's time for a club meeting already. Have you gotten a little more comfortable over the past couple days? Um, yo, Kurt, what's up, man? Yeah, you want money, and then I'll give you money, and you ask for Yuri. You skip it. <laughs> I'm over here just talking, talking. Even I know that that smack sound always gets me because at least you don't really hear sound effects on this game. So. It was also when um, Natsuki was on the swivel chair, she fell, and it had the crash sound along with the word crash. That caught me by surprise, because you don't hear sound effects on this game. Let's see, it's just a kiss sometimes, Monica, can you tell Yuri? Okay, I'm just making sure I go to where I need to go. Alright, okay, I can't skip it from here. Okay, so this is what. Hey Yuri, huh? Uh, I suddenly noticed that Yuri's reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. What are you doing? You trading books on me? You traitor. <laughs> Jerk. Sorry, no. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, no. I was just kind of waiting for you. Ah, uh, if that's the case, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Go ahead and make your tea. She loves some tea. Well, not really. She likes some tea, but it helps her calm. I th this just kind of goes with the reading. Thanks very much. If, if there's one more thing that can make reading reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I wish my class had a tea set in the club room. Like, well, I'm in college now, but I wish our college classes had some had some tea cups and a teapot. Just a tea set. Period. Like, I want some tea when I'm reading and practicing for an essay that'd be nice i follow as, she, as i watch her retrieve a small water picture from the shelf the kind with the water filter don't all of them have a water filter on it can you hold this for a second sure yuri hands me the water picture and also fetches the electric kettle i'm gonna plug this in the in at the teacher's desk and then we'll go get some water all right she walks past me and set the kettle down at the teacher's desk I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. So how does she walk then? Cause she's proper. Does she walk with a sway? Or, I don't know. Is she walking pro? I don't know how you can walk proper. Especially because her long legs, Yuri also appears, ele she walks elegant. So, I'll get, when I picture elegant, I picture like how the stereotypic Disney princess would walk. Okay, may I have the water picture? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm, where are you two fought to? Why are you always worried, Monica? And mind your business. Darn it. Huh? We just... Yuri was going to make some tea, so... I suddenly realized how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water picture. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Yeah! Talk that stuff! Tell Monica what's up. <laughs> or do you want me to tell... Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping Curtis... Helping involve Kurt in club activities? Uh-huh. She don't know what to say now. My mouth gas. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. 
<laughs> then let's go, Kurt. Uh, yo, Yuri. Okay, remember when so Yuri says she loves it when she speaks her mind? I kind of like it too, because she just gets all turned up. Yuri quickly exits the room, and I follow. All right, she seems upset. Once in the closet, she puts her head against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri, I just... Something about the way she said that, it made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. <laughs> she just be... <laughs> I'm starting to really like Yuri now. Well, he, I mean, I like to see Yuri more, but Yuri got that type of attitude that I like. That just comes out of nowhere. It's a rare occasion. I like that. I wasn't expecting it, but it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Kurt, how come even when I do something bad... So this is the bonding moment here? Because the music started. It's normally the same song. You're being so you're being nice to me, because nothing you did is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions, and we can't always hide them any away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain sh shower into a hurricane. Huh? N no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Uh, um. Yuri lifts her head. Kurt, I really like being friends with you. Are we being friend zoned? Or is this just a step? Cause we're gonna keep moving on. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that, but I'm doing the best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway, uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill the fill up the water picture, we return to the classroom or club room, whatever it's at. All right. Kurt, do you like oolong tea? Yo, I love me some oolong tea. My favorite tea is breakfast tea. I love. That's my favorite. That is my that's my number one favorite type of tea. And I actually have that downstairs. And I might either make that or I might make some coffee. I don't know. I might. I don't have oolong tea, I should probably buy some. Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do it any less than I'm making tea for others than when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> In that case, You'll only be even more impressed. Huh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. Oh, use the leaves. You don't get a tea bag? I use tea bags. All right. To my surprise, she she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do when it's you who's around anyway. Hmm, that's great, Yuri. I'm like really starting to get, I'm starting to really like Yuri because now she's opening up. I'm starting to get to know the real her, even though I kind of, even though it's kind of the purpose of the game, you know. You use this and then you, you use that to kind of manipulate. I guess that's the word to get them to like you. All right, don't push yourself too much. You're always thinking about me, Kurt. That's very endearing. That's Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep this keep with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Kurt, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Huh? Why that? It's a bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my at my desk. Huh, sorry I didn't realize. I mean, I don't read anyway, so. Well, when I read up, when I read, I normally stand. This is me when I'm reading. I would stand up, not sitting, and I would just walk around my room whenever I'm reading anything. Whether that's a book or paperwork. I mean, I'm not gonna say I don't read, cause I do read now and then, if it's really important. And when I do, I'm normally walking around. I can't stand still. I wish I could play this game walking around. No worries. I just have back pain. Are oh, you suffering from back pain? You should get some gold bone. Wait, it's not, it's not gold bone, though. No. 
It's the icy hot. <laughs> you sipping from bag bags? Get icy hot. A little shake, a little tingle. I like Jack. <laughs> I just have back pains fairly regularly, and I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because of my, uh, m my. Your posture, right? I think she wanted to say boobs, even though you shouldn't be shy to say it now, cause Sayuri blabbed about your boobs that one day. Yuri, your boobs are just fine, big and beautiful. Yeah, I still remember that. Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes, I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. You can say boobs. I mean, I'm not the weird one who thinks weirdly about it. But then again, it's whatever. It's whatever. It's a game. Curtis, this is a game. There's not real people. They can't hear you, what you're saying. If they could hear what you're saying, this would be a lot more hilarious. Because <laughs> I'll be making jokes left and right. We'll probably be friends quicker because I make jokes. And I can learn to make friends better. The person who I'm being on here don't know how to make friends, clearly. Well, he do, but not the best way. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Huh, I have some chocolate as well. Ooh, she got the ch she got chocolate. It's a small bag of chocolate candies that I kept hitting from Sayuri's candy radar. <laughs> Wait, why didn't you use that when we were with Sayuri? Because this is the same day, okay, this is the same day that we, um, that she asked if we have a, if she, we have a snack. So, if we were trying to impress Sayuri, why did you not bring up the fact that you had chocolate? Pretty sure she would have been happy with that. But whatever. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. No, it wouldn't. Chocolate and tea? Maybe chocolate and hot chocolate. <laughs> that, that goes perfect. <laughs> they both have the chocolate taste. What chocolate do you ever find in tea for it to even give it a compliment? Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at our side. As if in, as if in sync, we, we assume the... Assume the same reading posture as last time, each of us holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Ooh. I can't see too well. Nope, oh, darn it. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. Ooh hoo hoo! How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Don't focus on reading. Focus on her. Because she wants you, and she knows it. Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost like more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it in my hand, I'm not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes me makes it harder to focus because now I need to worry about making sure I don't actually touch your chest. Oh boy. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears an attentive reading expression and I can only presume the world around her is fading away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading, da da da. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little bit. That's good. I kinda need this bit, but that's besides the point. I put my teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Eh, uh, sorry. Yeah, cause probably noisy. You know, you should trying to read and stuff. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's, that's okay. I won't take any. Uh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, I might get smudges on the pages. Uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Oh, this is the cutscene. Okay, uh, we're, do you guys see the little particles? The little dust particles? That effect just kind of made it cooler, I'm not even gonna lie. Who is the artist here? I'm gonna... F I need to find who the artist here, and I don't want to follow them. Like, bro, can you give me tips on my art style? Whoever it is, if it's a man or a female, whoever it is, I want to find out who it is, and I want to follow them. I might do that later, though. Or I might wait if, the, if there are credits for this game if I beat it. I don't know. Nah. Yuri opens the books. Is there credits, like, on the home screen? Like, it'll say, like, credits, and I can click on it and see who did the art? Most games have that. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading it. So as a result, her left arm is practically resting on my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri already focused on reading again. I take the chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was unusual. Oh, so she's bit the cho she just took it? But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate into Yuri's mouth. That's really a little piece of chocolate. Then again, for the mouth size that it is, 
it will seem like it's a big piece of chocolate because for animes, you know, your mouth is a lot larger than your eyes. But for them, their eyes are a lot larger than their mouths. So I would think that maybe a piece of chocolate that's about the size of your eyes is probably the right thingy. But then again, that would be too big for her mouth. That's too big for her mouth. It's too small for her head. Ah, anime. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Huh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Uh-oh. Did I do something bad? Did, did I just? Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, Kurt. S sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's... Well... You were just helping. That's something that friends do, right? I don't know anymore. I don't know what friends do here. <laughs> I mean, not really the kind of context, but yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, then you don't need to stop or anything. I, I see. The situation got really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can't, but I can tell her by just her expression that she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers, but this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. Oh, she expected for me to try to put it in her mouth again? How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her, gl her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her beat to her breath. I raise my arm. Ah, uh, Like before, Yuri parts her lips. But it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers wow <laughs> okay okay everyone <laughs> yo monica you really just love doing that don't you look the music stopped and everything it was just like perfect it was like the perfect moment and then ew monica comes in okay everyone what <laughs> yuri jolts back it's time to share poems curry you can help yuri put away the tea set right or tea stuff right yeah, of course. Monica, you're always interrupting something. Like I said before, especially when it comes to Yuri, you definitely just interrupt like, boom. Music stops for you and everything. Okay, thanks. I spell the the spell is truly broken. I'll I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bags of chocolate. In the end, we have to clean up without so much as a word between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. What is wrong with um Monica that she loves doing that? Like, does she not want us together? Cause that's what I'm guessing. Okay, we'll go to Monica. Oh, she doesn't show. Oh wait, actually that was mostly the last episode. Natsuki, she looked at the thingy and realized that I was kind of I was trying to impress her. I hope Yuri doesn't though. Then again, I don't think she will. I don't think she overthinks things. Well, she does overthink things. Ah, oh, darn it. Hi, King Kurt. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. <laughs> this one's good. All right, this one will get it. I feel like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Maybe. <laughs> hmm. I guess so. I can't deny that she's very talented. Very. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. Romantic, eh? I think me and Yuri are gonna get along just fine. <laughs> if I could break her shyness. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it might it's like a light turns on inside her. Mm-hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Hey, we was getting we was getting a lot of conversation out of her. She likes us. You no, know, we're like a friend of her, so it's all good when it comes to me and her. Who knows what goes on in her in that head of hers? I do. I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still Defending her like that, you must be pretty into her. Maybe. <laughs> huh? You completely misunderstood. <laughs> Calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she already got a boyfriend. See, see, you. I feel like you're trying to do something here, cause I don't think she does. And I don't think that. I don't think that you believe that either. 
Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. <laughs> well played, Monica. Well played. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but, well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? Okay. It's another, all right, so we can skip this. Again, if you don't know what happened, she broke the fourth wall completely in her poem, and then she said she, her writing to the day involved me saving the game. It involves her breaking the wall. But then she acts like she didn't say that, so I guess she doesn't want me to know that she knows that she's in the game. All right. Or she doesn't want me to know that she knows that she's in the game. All right. Um, Yuri. All right. Let's see what you have written for today. Uh-oh, did she like it? Yuri starts my poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Kurt, this one might be even better than yesterday's. How do you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to give, I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. So this is clearly something that she likes because she's into poems. So me being into poems, she likes that. All right. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I'm waiting for her to like come out and say something like really well she always been saying nice things but like something romantic like i don't know what i want i know that yuri likes to think before she speaks so i offer that patience to her oh that's good yeah just being appreciated like this i guess it probably sounds really stupid but seeing someone motivated by my reading my writing it just makes me really happy are you saying that you never shared your writing before? Yuri not. Really? I don't believe it. I only I really only write for myself. Only really write for myself and besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? I don't think they would really laugh at your writing. I mean, cuz it's not bad at all. And if they're going to laugh at you for writing intelligent, then that's weird on them. Yuri nods again. Huh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If it's with you. The raccoon. Oh, right. We never got to read her poem. This is cool. I'm actually gonna like this now. All right. If I find it, I'm like really happy because the first couple of times, you know, she gets upset because it's not something that she likes, so she feels that we that she offended us, so she doesn't want to share with us but yeah okay the raccoon it happens at the dead of, the dead of night while i was slicing bread for a guilty snack my attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon inside my window that was i believe the first time i noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human thanks to the raccoon oh, i gave the raccoon a piece of bread my subconscious well aware of my consequences yes it's consequences i'm still trying to get used to this um handwriting of hers <laughs> well aware that the raccoon that is fed will always come back for more the beauty of my cutting knife was a symbol symbol i cannot read this handwriting the bread my hunger curiosity the raccoon, an urge. The moon, it phases and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. It's very, the very same light that glistens in the eyes of the raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited, or perhaps my mirthly projecting, oh, uh, projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has a taking to follow me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows its excitement. The rush of blood, classic con conditioning. I slice the bread 
and I feed myself again. Okay, so Natsuki's poem was about her liking anime or liking manga, but her friends don't like it. Monica's poem was about um, her being trapped in a computer, or not being, I don't know if it's being trapped, but she's in a computer, but I don't think she likes it because she describes it horribly. I don't know what this is about. She's cutting knife the bread. So she's cutting something or slicing something. I don't know what Sayuri's is about. I'm gonna get to it though. I'm keeping, I know it says something about bottles, but I remember what her poem said, but I'm trying to like, because it said they're gonna learn more about the people as you go on with the game. So later on, I will find out what their poem is about. I feel their poems has something to do with them that they're symbolizing, but not actually saying. Also, I'm kind of starting to like this game. It's kind of like a mystery. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. At all. She's slicing something. Wait. Depression. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just remember this game talks about depression. And she likes dark things. So, and I remember, the poem says something about blood. Does she cut? Like, herself? Ooh. I hope not. I feel when it comes to depression, it might be, I, feel, I always felt like it was talking about her. Oh, no. That's right. It's a bit closer than my, pre my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions to them. Yeah, if I take it as face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I want to express myself to feel more, to indulge in the, more of my more unusual hobbies. Does it have something to do? The sort of things I usually force to keep to myself. Oh no. Oh no. I really do have a strong feeling that this has something to do with her cutting herself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why don't you, why do you keep them to yourself? B because they're embarrassing and people make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Kurt? Well, I guess I do. <clears throat> I feel that everyone has a little something like that. I feel the best, We. I feel, the best we can do is respect others, individuals, or individual, yeah, individualities, whatever that said. Even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I might be renting a little right now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things, writing, listening, There really are more people like you, Kurt. That's that's exaggerating a bit. It's just how I feel. I never thought I would be so comfortable sharing my my writing, but now I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling, and you're to thank for that. It's it's nothing really. Three smiles sincerely at me. For just a moment, her timid seems appear. Her timidness seems. To disappear. Oh no, I'm scared. Let me go to let me go to Sayuri again. Because I'm I want to try to find out what her poem's about. Because I'm pretty sure they're not just gonna tell us. So I have to kind of figure it out myself. Oh, I had like this one, Kurt. Okay, so we can just skip it. Not too much though. I want to get to her poem. You want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Um, let me just do this, because I know I can skip over the poem if I really wanted to. So let's just do this, so I can go back to her poem, and I can reread it again. I won't record me reading it over again, but let me just take the time to read it over again. And then I'll just skip when I'm done. All right. So yeah, I'll skip it when I'm done reading this. I'm going to read it a couple of times. 
okay so i read it a couple of times and i still don't know i don't know but i know but now that i've read her poem a whole bunch of times now i know exactly what her poem says so i can keep her poem in mind all right we can skip the rest i just wanted to read the poem again all right natsuki who might really not like this one oh and i didn't go with her thingy before so i agree with yuri so she might really snap on me oh boy well i can admit that this one's better than your last it's nice to see you're putting in some effort that's good but i still don't like this at all it seems you're trying to be trying hard too hard to be serious huh what do you mean oh, i'm not doing her voice how did i even miss that probably because i was reading that poem so many times and i forgot all right <clears throat> poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something it's going to just sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it honestly don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on yuri's level i am on her level <laughs> i think well no i'm not Nesuki stops short all of a sudden. D don't tell me. Huh? You're not. You're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? Okay, how do you know when I'm trying to impress someone? See, she's the one. She read the poem that made herself think of her writing and automatically came to the assumption that I'm trying to impress her. And now she's reading this and she thinks I'm trying to impress Yuri. Well, she doesn't know, think, she actually knows. But that's besides the point. So the only reason why she didn't do it for Sayori is because she assumes that because we're already close that I kind of already like go already think like her because we're best friends. All right. What? What are you talking about? Keep your voice down. You know Yuri loves this poem. Loves what? Love this kind of is angsty. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean I mean. Huh? Looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow stuck struck a nerve. Though, what I did is beyond me. I am so done with you. Nazuki shows the poem I handed back to over to me. All right. Take you to a poem. If you write it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. Oh, stop being a baby, Curtis. God darn it. It's just what I... This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader... At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. At all. I didn't even read hers. But it's all good because I know hers about. Wait. So. If, because there's going to be times where I might not read other people's poems. So the only reason, the only way I would be able to read everyone's poems if I was doing this. You know, playing everyone's gameplays, I guess. Okay, everyone. Okay, I can skip this, right? Skip, 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 skip. Jeez, guys, we're not just pausing. Let me see the big deal out of it. It must be nice, though. Well, oh, this is this part where we're about to walk home. All right, all right. I will. All right, for this one, I will say I would walk home with Yuri. Even though I know walking is like a best friend thing for her, I feel that maybe this might be something different as far as me trying to date them. I don't know. Walk home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that be more heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so. Is this just so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. Ah, you admitted it. Jeez, there's nothing, okay. This is all new. All right, poem time for Yuri. All right, then let's see. Uh, that one, determination. Whatever that says. Massacre. Intellectual. Not excitement. Disaster. Um. Insight. All right, here we go. Disoriented. Depression. No. Because depression is for her. She likes depression. Lust. There we go. Um. What else? Misfortune. 
It's okay. You have a majority good going for Yuri, so that's all good. It's all good. Um, 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 hopeless. Stop it. Um, cuff it. There we go. Night got no. Embrace no. Crimson. There we go. Suicide. Uh, but of course she likes that. I think she cuts herself. I think. I'm not making it's. I'm not making. Ex What's the word? I'm not making claims. I'll just say claims. I'm trying to say words that I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Um. Sadness. Vibrant. Evan said. Uncontrollable. Um. Judgment. And. Eternity. All right. Oh man, that's what something she's saying. All right, so now we can gladly save this from here. So that's gonna be good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give this video a like, and I would really appreciate it. I know I said it before, but please just subscribe to this page because I'm gonna be playing more games. Maybe some more virtual novels. Maybe we don't know visual novels. But um, yeah, I hope I see you guys when this video drop and everything goes good in your life. So yeah, peace.